The deck surface was so rusty that it took us half a day to clean it. Hello, Chief. Have you done a working aloft permit yet? Can we start work? Yes, guys. The work permit's ready. Have you got all the equipment you need? Have you got that new safety harness? We don't want any more accidents like last month. That's right. That OS had a bad fall, didn't he? I didn't understand it. He was wearing a harness. Yes, he was, but it broke. They're holding an investigation at the moment. Is he going to be okay? Yeah, he was really lucky. Anyway, report to me when you're finished. And don't forget your goggles, okay? Those metal lockers are covered in rust. Those metal lockers are covered in rust. During the investigation, it was noticed that a similar fitting had been rigged incorrectly. Yes. During the investigation, it was noticed that a similar fitting had been rigged incorrectly. Why don't you release this? Why don't you release this? These t-shirts are dirty, they need washing. These t-shirts are dirty, they need washing. The charterer requires both skippers to be experienced and competent. The charterer requires both skippers to be experienced and competent. We need to clean the deck. Mm. We need to clean the deck. Mm. The expiry date on these fire extinguishers ends in one month. We'll need 13 extinguishers to be replaced or refilmed on shore. The expiry date on these fire extinguishers ends in one month. We'll need 13 extinguishers to be replaced or refilmed on shore. The final destination of the cargo is Austria. The final destination of the cargo is Austria. You can look through the glass. You can look through the glass. We need to buy a spare when we get into port. We need to buy a spare when we get into port. Good morning, Port Plymouth Emergency Clinic. How can I help you? Good morning. This is Chief Officer Sergei Orlov. We'll arrive in port at 1400 hours today. I need to make an emergency appointment for one of our crew members. I see. What's the matter with him? Well, he fell down some stairs earlier this morning, and he may have broken his left arm. He can't move it. I see. Well, as it's an emergency, you don't need an appointment. Just come in as soon as you arrive in port. Remind him to bring his passport, oh, and bring some to translate for him if necessary. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find the hospital? Yes, it's in Bridge Street. It's about five minutes away by taxi, or you can take the number 42 bus. That'll take about 15 minutes to get there. Can I walk there? Oh, yeah. It's actually quicker than the bus, because you take a shortcut through the supermarket car park. You should get there in about 10 minutes. I know you were told to paint that area today, but I think we should postpone it. Why is that, sir? Is the paint been delivered yet? That is not the problem. Haven't you heard the shipping forecast? Well, it seems okay at the moment, sir. Sunbathing weather, in fact. Yes, but the wind is getting up. It will blow paint everywhere. You know how strict they are in U.S. waters. There are some other jobs you can do instead. Hi, 
Hi, are you ready to order yet? Um, have you got a vegetarian menu? Uh, not really. We do a different seafood dish every day, though. Today we have grilled shrimp. Sorry, I don't eat much fish or seafood. Actually, I like shrimps, but they bring me out an allergy. Well, uh, what I could do is ask the chef to cook you a special vegetarian dish. What about a vegetable soup followed by a pasta with a spicy tomato sauce? That sounds fine. But could you make the tomato sauce without any spice, please? You see, when I eat chili or hot food, I always get a terrible stomachache. Sure, we can do that. Welcome to the Museum of Natural History. This is a recorded phone message. The museum is now closed. Our opening hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday, and from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at weekends. We are closed all day on bank holidays. Admission is free for children who are still at school and students who produce a valid student card. So, I'm going to show you how to use thermal protective aids properly. First, take the bag out of its plastic envelope and unfold it. Next, put on the clothing, but don't forget to put on your life jackets, then climb into the bag, zip it up, and tighten this drawstring here. Now, Jeff, how about a demonstration? You see that vessel dock there and those seafarers hanging over the rails? Yes, what about them? Well, <laughs> they're not real. What? They're dummies. You know, like you get in a shop for modeling clothes? Oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> Things don't look too good for us if they're recruiting dummies now. You know why they're there, don't you? Is some kind of research the IMO is carrying out? Or are they trying out a new type of PPE in heavy weather conditions? No, it's to stop pirate attacks. Good afternoon, sir. Your passports and boarding cards, please. Here you are. I'm afraid you're at the wrong gate, sir. Oh, you're joking. But this is flight GR342 for Frankfurt, isn't it? No, didn't you hear the announcement? They changed the gate number. You should have boarded at gate 27, not 17. Oh, no, where's that? Just down there, but hurry up. The flight's about to close. Good morning, this is BBC Radio 4. In half an hour, we present Play for Today from our Manchester studio. It's a drama set on board an oil rig in the North Sea. John Black heads a distinguished cast of actors, and the play is directed by Tony Farmer. Good morning, this is BBC Radio 4. In half an hour, we present Play for Today from our Manchester studio. It's a drama set on board an oil rig in the North Sea. John Black heads a distinguished cast of actors, and the play is directed by Tony Farmer. So how are things with you then? Are you still working on the row row? No, I left that job last year. Oh, did you? Why was that? Well, I prefer working on a vessel with no passengers. I like working with machines, not people. <laughs> so, so where are you working now? I'm on a container vessel. It's okay, but I don't get to see my wife as much. And the weather this winter has been so cold. I'm from a hot country. I'm not used to temperatures below zero. <laughs> but apart from that, it has been okay. Lucky you were on leave, Mario. It was pretty scary stuff in the last voyage. We had to abandon ship. Yes, I heard about it. What did you have to do? I had to supervise passengers getting into the forced lifeboats. They were pretty calm considering. Some of the kids were crying, of course, and it was very cold, even though it was July. Morning, Cook. How are you getting on? Good morning, Captain. I'm fine, thanks. A bit busy getting Christmas dinner ready for tonight. Sounds good. What are we having? Well, the first course will either be vegetable or chicken soup. Then, um, it'll be a choice of either fish or turkey for the main course. And, of course, we'll have Christmas pudding to finish with. 
Sounds good. Now, listen, some of the Russian crew have asked if you can prepare pancakes with caviar. It would be nice for them to have it for Christmas dinner, if possible. Well, I've got a lot to do, but, well, I'll see what I can manage. Thanks. So how on earth did this happen? Well, I really don't know. I just didn't see her. I think she was on the wrong deck. This is the freight deck, and passengers aren't supposed to be here. Hmm. It, it wasn't my fault, honest. She must have been trying to get back to her car, and somehow she ended up on the wrong deck where the trucks are. I just wasn't expecting anyone to be there, and what with the noise and everything, I just didn't see her. Good morning, sir. Can I see your identification, please? Hi, I, I'm, I'm a superintendent and I want to speak with your captain. I have an appointment with him. Is he on board? He is, but I need to see your ID first, please. In just a minute. No. Oh, no, I've left it in the office. Can you just call captain and tell him I'm here? Oh, yes, I can call him, but I can't let you on board without your ID. I'll just give him a call on the radio. Let me give you an example of a recent pirate attack. The ship had just crossed the South China Sea and was negotiating a busy strait around midnight. So it's possible the pirates boarded the ship unseen from one of the small vessels nearby. Anyway, five men entered the bridge and threatened the master. They were all carrying knives and they forced him to open the ship's safe. Well, the master had no choice. So the pirates were able to empty the safe and escape with $25,000 and some other valuables.